you can't build a new PC right now. Alder Lake's about to launch. Don't buy Alder Lake because you're going to be beta testing a new platform when Windows 11 and DDR5 and the big little design, we don't know how that's going to go. Pretty soon the Zen 3 Plus is going to come out with the 3D cache and, uh, but wait a minute, don't buy that one because just later next year we're going to see the Zen 4 platform coming out and that's going to crush all of these. And you want to buy a GPU right now? Why would you buy a GPU right now? Intel's going to come out soon and they're going to definitely crash all the GPU prices and Ethereum, the proof of stake's going to model's going to happen and then everybody's going to be flooding the market with used mining GPUs. So buying one right now, you'd have to be absolutely insane. Guys, if you read the comment sections, and I read my whole comment section, I don't always have a chance to reply to you guys. And I don't just mean on my channel, I mean on lots of channels, Reddit, build a PC forums, all of that stuff. There's always going to be some advice that no matter what somebody is planning to build and buy and win, there's always somebody in there who's like, don't buy now, you'd be dumb to buy now, you have to wait, you have to buy later. And this isn't just a modern thing, this goes back into the past as well. Let's jump back a year. So if you jump back to the 3070 announcement, then you see the people with the 2080 Ti panic selling them on eBay in the four to $600 range because everybody is about to be able to buy 3070 for 499 that gives you 2080 Ti like performance. Cause we're definitely living in that world right now, guys. And then there's so many people who are like, ah, don't try to buy one of these new Ampere cards because they're selling for like a couple hundred dollars more than MSRP. And like, why would you pay that? Cause GPU prices are definitely gonna start going down, right? Right? They're gonna start going down now, right? Don't buy now, they're definitely gonna go down. Just wait another month. GPU prices are definitely gonna start going back down. Oh look guys, they're going back down a little bit. Let's, let's keep waiting, they're gonna keep going back down. There's no way they'd ever start coming back up again. Keep waiting, keep waiting, keep waiting, keep waiting, keep waiting. Guys, eventually, you might need to just buy a PC, <laughs> okay? So for example, I recently went through this and I saw a bunch of comments like this. When I hit my 10,000 subscriber mark, I wanted to build a new celebration PC for both gaming and uh, video editing. And I went with a 5950X, which again, for just gaming, I do think is overkill. But for video editing, it's been fantastic. And a lot of people were supportive of that decision, but there were a bunch of comments saying, gotta wait for the 12th gym Intel chips because either they're gonna be better or it'll drop prices on things like the 5950X. And I'm not saying the people are wrong that that could happen, although we don't know that, especially in this market, like prices could just go up as we get towards holiday season and everybody's buying again, right? Even if they're right that the prices go down, you know what I would have missed out on? The entire time in between of actually getting to use and enjoy my new PC, edit video on it, play games on it, and it's been fantastic. So when should you actually build a new PC? I think it's fine to pay attention if there's about to be some new product launch, but don't always assume that's gonna lower prices. You're going to oftentimes, especially nowadays, just see that the new stuff instantly sells out and scalper, scalpers are selling them for increased prices and that won't necessarily lower the prices on competing chips because they, you know, if, if the one that's supposed to be lowering those prices isn't actually selling at its listed price, the other prices don't necessarily drop, right? So it's fine to keep that in mind, but when I think you should actually build a new PC is number one, when you actually feel like you need more performance to enjoy the games that you're having, and when you have the money to purchase the, the, the parts that you want at the prices at which they're currently available. And you know what? If in a month's time something better comes out, but you're still getting the performance that you're happy with, because that's why you selected those parts, or if, a month or two from now, you could have built the same thing for cheaper or built something that had slightly better performance for the same price. You know what? If you selected a PC that you are happy with the performance on, honestly, feel free to turn off of the tech YouTube, right? You know what I mean? I know I'm saying that as a tech YouTuber, but like you don't need to constantly monitor the prices and performance of things after you've built your PC, if you just wanna just like live without that fear of missing out, live without feeling like you made the wrong decision, just enjoy what you built. Or you could be like me and just be like, yeah, cool, prices are going down, but I've been enjoying mine in the meantime, and maybe I could have got the 5950X for $100 cheaper after 12th gen Intel launches, but I'm fine spending that extra $100 to have enjoyed it for the last month, you know? Anyway, 
I hope you guys have an excellent day.